You've made it to summer break and you are ready to have some summertime fun. But there's this little voice in the back of your head that's saying now that you have all this time, maybe you should do some of the things you need to do for school. But you still wanna make sure that you're resting and recharging, so what's a teacher to do? Well, in this video, I've got you. I'm gonna walk you through how to plan out your summer so that you can enjoy all the things that summertime brings but also get a few things done for the new year. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent and I share tips on running an effective and efficient classroom so that you can get more done and still have time to teach. So in order to plan out your summer, you're gonna need a few things first. You're either going to need a printout of a calendar for your summer months or you can just use regular old paper and some colored pens or markers to help you color code your calendar. So I'm just going to use a blank piece of paper and I'm using chart paper just so you can see, but you don't need to use chart paper. You could just use plain paper or like I said, print out a calendar. And so I'm just gonna draw a simple calendar for July. Now that you have a calendar ready to go, I just simply added in the days for July and August. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go through and mark off any type of things that are like non-negotiable, thing like vacation, things that I have planned that are set in stone that can't be moved around if something comes up. And so I know for the uh, holiday weekend of July 4th that I'm going to be hanging out with friends and family and just nothing is going to be, um, I just want to keep that time open so that I can be flexible and enjoy that time. So I'm just going to say a holiday weekend. If you have like um, vacations planned or anything like that, mark it off. You know you can't move those dates and those are set in stone. So the next thing that I'm gonna add to my calendar are household things. For me, I know that uh, I just don't have the time during the school year to go through and organize and declutter and deep clean a lot of the places in my house. I always want to do like deep spring cleaning when everybody else is doing it, but that time of the year is just tough as a teacher. And so it just kind of gets neglected, especially towards the end of the school year. So I tend to do summer cleaning instead. And so I am, instead of like choosing a day that I'm going to work on it each day, I'm just gonna put it at the beginning of my weeks so that I know that at some point that week, I want to focus on it. So I'm first going to just add that on the side of my calendar. And I'm gonna put like, I'm gonna start with the bathrooms and then I want to move on to the kitchen and then the bedrooms, the closets, and just the areas that I wanna kinda hit throughout the week um, organizing, cleaning, all of those things. Remember that this is your summer and your calendar and so do how you see fit. If you would rather choose like every Wednesday you want to work on one of those areas, organizing, decluttering, however you want to do it. That is totally up to you. So the next thing I'm going to add to here are things I want to work on for the next school year. Now I tend to take most of my first month of summer off of not really doing a whole lot of back to school or any kind of school prep really. So for June, besides maybe reading some professional development books or even just sort of looking in Facebook groups on Instagram just for random ideas, I don't really start to work on things I wanna work on until about July after the 4th. So for my school things, I actually like to pick a day that I want to work on it. And so I think I'm gonna go with Tuesdays and I'm going to block that time out for school prep. If it's a big project, I'll devote the whole day to it, uh, but it might just be like an hour or two that I'm working on something. And honestly, sometimes I have a running list and I can add that so I'm specifically knowing what I wanna work on each day. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put school prep on my Tuesdays. Now remember, the red that I used for our non-negotiables, the things that do not change, that lets me know that when I look at this calendar that the red, I'm not going to change my time or my days. But if something comes up, if some a friend calls and wants to go to lunch, or I'm just not feeling it that day, I don't have to do it on Tuesday. It's just something that is just going to prepare me to be ready to hopefully work on something that week. And then the last thing that I wanna make sure that I am doing this summer, besides getting my house together, working on a little bit of school stuff, of course, resting and relaxing, 
binge watching Netflix, reading books, I want to add in some other fun activities that I don't normally do during the school year. So one of the things for sure I know that I've already set this in my calendar is a lunch date with some friends. So I'm going to add that in here. And then I know my niece's birthday party is going to be near the weekend of her birthday. So I'm going to add that here. I don't know the exact date yet. Otherwise, I would have added that in red if I knew the exact date, but I don't know that date. So I'm going to put it on here in green. And then I know that I want to visit one of the new parks here in town. So I'm just going to add that in here anywhere. Again, this is not necessarily set in stone just things that I want to add in here to make sure that I'm like, oh yeah, I want to do that. Let me pick a day this week. Am I going to do it on July 21st? Maybe, but I have the flexibility because it's summer break to do it whenever. Let me know down in the comments, what kind of fun summer activities are you doing this summer? What should I add to my calendar? that will just help me have an enjoyable summer. So the key to remember that this is not set in stone. This is a summer break and is meant to be flexible. So set your non-negotiables in a certain color and then let everything else be fluid and flexible. One of the things I also like to do is set up a new morning routine because one of my things that I love to do over the summer is to read as much as I can because I don't get to do it as often during the school year. So I like to have very slow mornings I like to read several chapters of a book, enjoy my coffee, and just set this new routine to my day that's not rushed like the normal school morning is. If you're wondering what are some of the things you can work on this summer, I have a free back to school roadmap that will guide you through things to work on up until the first week of school. It also has checklists for you as you are preparing your classroom in the next few months. You can grab that free roadmap by going to the link that is on your screen below or you'll find the link in the description below.